Hello everyone. Information box to get lifestyles brings you today food microbiology topic on pasteurization. But first, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon button so you don't miss any of my videos. Let's get into the table of content. First, we will have a brief introduction about pasteurization, history, purpose, pasteurization of different foods and their purpose, types of pasteurization, microorganisms killed by pasteurization, and lastly, comparison between different pasteurization techniques. Let's begin with a brief introduction of pasteurization. One of the most important steps in preservation and a need for food safety is pasteurization. Pasteurization is required to eliminate pathogenic microbes and considerably reduce organisms that cause food to deteriorate. The most common use of pasteurization is in the dairy processing sector of the food and beverages industry. Milk is a popular product for which pasteurization is required worldwide. To stop enzymatic and microbiological degradation, it is referred as moderate heat treatment. Heat liable spoilage organisms such as non spore forming bacteria, yeast, and molds are removed by heating food up to the 100 degrees Celsius. Pasteurization is frequently an energy demanding procedure because of the high amounts of heating and cooling requirements. Other pasteurization methods, including concentration, acidity, and chemical inhibition, complement pasteurization the best. Slow pasteurization employs higher temperatures for a longer period of time. Common temperature time combinations are 75 degrees Celsius for 8 to 10 minutes or 63 to 65 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. At pasteurization temperatures of at least 85 to 90 degrees Celsius, rapid high of flash pasteurization only takes a few seconds. There are several typical combinations of temperature and time, such as 88 degrees Celsius for 1 minute, 100 degrees Celsius for 12 seconds, and 121 degrees Celsius for 2 seconds. Now let's head to the history of pasteurization. Pasteurization was created in the 19th century by the French scientist named Louis Pasteur. He used this approach to both wine and beer. For the first time, a high temperature short time approach was applied in this operation in 1862. Technology advanced quickly in the early 90s, spurring the creation of several pasteurization methods. In 1908, Chicago became the first city to enact legislation when during milk pasteurization. In early part of the 20th century, technology was dominated by holding techniques also known as VATS pasteurization. The milk is batch heated using this manner for 30 minutes at around 63 degrees Celsius. High temperature, short time, continuous techniques, however, had already altered general industrial adaptation by early 1940s. There were a number of temperature application timings released as a procedure's technology developed. Nowadays, the widely used high temperature short time method of pasteurizing milk is usually carried out using plate heat exchangers. The multiple heating and cooling processes used in the modern pasteurization plant make sure that milk reaches the right temperatures. I am putting lots of work in this lecture, so please don't forget to give a subscribe. Purpose of Pasteurization Pasteurization does not seek to eliminate all microorganisms from food. Instead, if the right conditions apply to storage settings, it helps to minimize the quantity of living bacteria, making them less likely to cause disease. The food industry frequently uses it as a CCP and many HACCP programs to do as well. In most cases, pasteurization is used to completely destroy all disease-causing organisms, as in the pasteurization of milk, or to drastically reduce the quantity of organisms that cause food to deteriorate, as in the pasteurization of vinegar. All known spore-forming pathogenic bacteria, the majority of vegetative spoiling microorganisms, and the activity of microbes and enzymes are neutralized by pasteurization. Low temperatures, typically 4 degrees Celsius for a few days, for example milk or months, for example bottled fruits, enhance the shelf life of food. Now let's head to the pasteurization of different foods and their purposes. The first product is fruit juice. Main purpose is to inactivate enzymes such as pectinatorase and polyglactaronase. 
which causes the destruction of spoilage causing microorganisms. Conditions of processing are 65 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes or 77 degrees Celsius for 1 minute. Next, 88 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds. Next product is beer. Main purpose is to destruct of spoilage causing microorganisms such as wild yeast, lactobacillus species and residual yeast such as Saccharomyces species. Conditions of processing is 65 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes in bottle, 72 degrees Celsius to 75 degrees Celsius for 1 or 4 minutes at 900 to 1000 kilopascals. Third product is milk. The main purpose is to destruct the pathogens like Brucella abortus, Mycobacterium tuberculosis, Proxella bitterni. It also destructs microorganisms such as Streptococcus leptis, Streptococcus cerevisiae, and enzymes. Conditions for processing 63 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes or 71.5 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds. Next product is liquid egg. Main purpose is for the destruction of pathogen Salmonella Stefanberg. Conditions for processing are 64.4 degrees Celsius for 2.5 minutes, 60 degrees Celsius for 3.5 minutes. And lastly, ice cream. Main purpose is for the destruction of spoilage causing microorganisms. Processing conditions are 65 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes, 71 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes, and lastly 80 degrees Celsius for 25 seconds. Now let's see the types of pasteurizations available. Number one, wet pasteurization or low temperature. A closed temperature control wet makes up a pasteurizer. It is sometimes referred to as batch pasteurization, low temperature pasteurization or protracted pasteurization. The food item is quickly cooled after being heated to a temperature of between 62 and 64 degrees Celsius and held there for around 30 minutes. In a refrigerator, pasteurized food has a 2-3 to three week shelf life. The raw material is put into the pasteurization vault, heated to a necessary temperature, maintained for a necessary amount of time, cooled off and then pumped out of the vat. Before manufacturing ice cream, cheese, yogurt and other common food products, milk is fully pasteurized in vault in dairy industry. The major applications for wild batch pasteurization nowadays are smaller firms and products other than milk. However, large corporations do use it occasionally, for example, fruit juices. Advantages are, in both larger businesses and smaller operations, wild pasteurization is useful for low-volume commodities. Number two, they work particularly well when processing cultured food like buttermilk and sour cream which needs to be pasteurized, cooled and milked to incorporate the starter before being held quietly for several hours to break the curd and finish cooling the tank. Disadvantages are number 1. Wet pasteurization is sluggish since it frequently happens in patches. Number 2. Despite using manual controls, the operator must constantly exercise caution to prevent overheating, overholding and burning. And lastly number 3. Heating and cooling are relatively costly since the vat cannot renew heat. Number 2. High temperature short time. The continuous process of flash pasteurization are other names for high temperature short time pasteurization. Pasteurization using a high temperature for a brief period of time is known as HDSD. One of the most often used pasteurization methods at the moment. Using a continuous heat exchanger, the liquid is first quickly heated to temperatures between 71.5 degrees Celsius and 74 degrees Celsius for around 15 to 30 seconds or between 74 degrees Celsius and 76 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 seconds. It targets resistant Clostridium botulinum spores which are dangerous bacterial spores. For HDSD, pasteurized milk, a typically refrigerated shelf life is 2 or 3 weeks. By achieving a 5 log reduction in the amount of living microorganisms in milk, the high temperature short time pasteurization should almost eradicate all yeast, mold, common spoilage and dangerous bacteria. 
advantages are number one better color and flavor preservation and number two milk products juice puree based products and even beer products are all suitable disadvantages are number one this approach can be used in fewer manufacturing facilities and lastly number two it is pretty expensive number three ultra pasteurization ultra pasteurization is likewise done at a higher temperature and with somewhat different equipment than hdsd process although ultra pasteurized items have a longer shelf life refrigeration is still necessary depending on the amount of fat in the product different dairy products require different pasteurization techniques stronger treatments such as 70 degrees celsius for 25 to 30 minutes or 80 degrees celsius for 25 seconds are required for ice cream dairy dessert mixtures cream or processed cheese advantage are ultra pasteurization significantly extends the shelf life of milk disadvantages are number one compared to regular pasteurized milk the milk have different flavor and has up to 20 percent less vitamins a d and e and number two pasteurized milk has a reduced shelf life after opening due to lower quantities of antimicrobials beneficial microorganisms and enzymes and lastly number four ultra high temperature milk preservation now uses ultra high temperature the milk is packed and aseptically placed into containers after being sterilized at 135 degrees celsius for two to five seconds ultra high temperature milk can occasionally survive six to nine months without being refrigerated bacterial spores should also be eliminated by ultra high temperature therapy advantages are number one its processing times are quicker and number two the shelf life are longer lastly disadvantages are milk loses nutritional value due to sterilization ultra high temperature treatment is quite energy intensive this process alters the milk's natural flavor and number four packaging for ultra high temperature milk is not biodegradable you can show your support to this channel by subscribing microorganisms killed by pasteurization streptococci lactobacillus microbacteria coliform and micrococci are acid producing microorganisms coliforms streptococci spirulicum and torula cremoris are gas generators fermentation that is robby and stingy alkaligenes we call it is enterobacter aerogenes streptococcus liquefactions pseudomonas species bacillus species proteus species and other proteolytic organisms Pseudomonas fluorescens, Acromonobacter lipolyticum, Candida lipolytica, and Pancinium species are examples of lipolytic organisms. Lastly, comparison between different pasteurization techniques. By the table, you can understand the comparison. The techniques are compared with the criteria given in the table. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much.